show you a Heritage 550, H550. I just discovered these guitars uh, a year or so ago, year and a half, when uh, I went back to Kalamazoo uh, for a workshop and a tour of the Heritage factory. They don't make these guitars anymore. Um, and, you know, I, we were in the showroom and they had one of these. I picked it up and I thought, holy cow, wow, this thing is nice. And you know what? They're priced pretty dang good. Now, I've had four of these guitars. This is the fourth one I've had. Um, I've never had them long enough to do a video on it. I, I got uh, one of them and uh, sold it right away at a guitar show. Got another one, sold it at our workshop. I, I got in between, got one that was pretty beat up. And I decided, you know, I'm a, I like this. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, because it's beat up and you know, people like to buy nice stuff. Then we got this puppy. This is a special order because it's got gold hardware and uh, it's a 96 and the thing is just mint, drop dead mint. Uh, it's a beautiful ax. Let me tell you about the 550. Basically, it's a pressed top 17 inch. It's got a little extra piece of wood under the pickups on the top eliminates feedback and that's what I like about it you can go and play at a you know big venue and you're not having to worry about your positioning with the bass player that makes things feedback uh, with that bass going out at it uh, or monitors or anything so it's feedback resistant and it's got that sound huh? And it's 17 inch. Now, a laminated maple top. I think the sides and back are could be laminated, could be solid. Usually, they they've been making things solid, so I don't I don't know on this. Look at the the flame on that. Pretty, huh? Now the neck is what is spectacular about these guitars. Uh, this is a three-piece neck with an ebony fretboard <clears throat> and it's got the split block inlays. It's got that pretty, pretty headstock. And this is a custom guitar. It says custom there on the 550. Uh, so they weren't really part of the regular line. Tell you what, let's go close up. I want to show you a couple of features. Let's just do an inspection of this puppy. Now I'm gonna offer this up. Isn't that pretty? I mean, come on, it's like new. What do you want? Jeez. Um, it has a different uh, truss rod cover because I guess it was ordered with a fella's name on it. So he replaced that when he sold it to me. Now these guitars are meant to be played, not looked at. One of the things I want to do is I want to compare this guitar to a Golden Eagle. You know, um, this has a laminated top, maple, and some people say, oh gosh, I gotta have that spruce top. So, okay. That's, I understand that. Let's, um, let's do a little comparison, shall we? Let's do it. Let me get out my Golden Eagle. Okay. 
here's my Golden Eagle. Basically, it's essentially, uh, this is like a West Montgomery L5, okay? But it's priced a lot cheaper. Got half my guitar case hanging off it. All right, let's listen to it. <laughs> So right off the bat, you hear a, a little brighter sound. So So that's that's the difference. That's what it sounds like. So you get a lot of that higher end on, on it, I guess. You know, it's like comparing wines, you know. What do you like better, a Pinot or a Cab? I, I, yeah. They're both great. Who, who knows, you know? Mm. I like a good one in either one. So same with guitars, you know. I like a good guitar. I want a quality guitar. And you're going to get that. Uh, let me show you my 550. Okay, here is mine. Mine is silver, and it's got a lot of nicks in it. It's got some cracks in the binding, uh, nicks in the binding. But you know what? I don't care. It plays great, sounds great, and I want, you know, it works for me. I can take this and go gig. <laughs> I play at this, you know, fancy hotel uh, with my jazz group at, by the pool. So you got kids running around there with squirt guns and water balloons and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to take my Golden Eagle there. I don't think so. But I want a nice, beautiful sound. And I love the feel of the 17-inch. I don't know why I'm playing that song. So I, I decided to keep this one again because it's got a lot of it's got some belt buckle stuff on the back and, and you know it's a it's a, it's a player. Uh, the one that I'm offering is super nice, but you can uh, you can ding it up at your leisure. You know, it's mint condition. If you're interested in it, give me a buzz and uh, and we'll talk. So again, you know, when you compare it to a, to an L5, did did I mention it's got a three piece neck? All of these, that's got a pretty. You see all that belt buckle stuff there. Uh, so you know. Generally, when guys buy a guitar, they want to put their own little nicks in them and stuff. So, uh, but, you know, I don't care. Uh, <clears throat> I've got so many nice guitars, I, I, I need one that I can just play or swing it around, throw it in the car and go. But I love, I love the, the way that this, and again, I don't have to worry about it feeding back. Uh, so, uh, if you're interested in 550, give me a buzz and you can pick this puppy up. So 550 is in like the $3,000 range. Uh, Golden Eagles in the in the four to five to six, and then uh, L5s in the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, twenty. Who knows? You know, an L5. It's just an L5. All right. I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed this. Adios. Mm -hmm.